Hey guys, welcome back. I've got the Stuart Warner receiver powered up. Uh, pretty non-eventful so far, which is good. So uh, let's look at the uh, five volt string, which would be my uh, yellow lead to stay within 10% uh, of my uh, five volts. And we're at 4.94. So in good shape there. Let me get over to the 6.3 volt winding and see where we're at there. We'll just go to ground here and see if I can get my lead in here. And the 6 volt winding 6.36, so that looks good as well. Let's look at the uh, DC voltage. Well, hang on. Let's look at the uh, center tap, which goes to uh, chassis ground back over to each side of the transformer real quick on the AC side. If you guys followed along, I tagged one of the uh, leads red and one blue. And 255.9, almost 256. And 256.7, so pretty well balanced there. My uh, line input voltage continues to fluctuate about a half a volt as well. So uh, let's switch over to uh, DC and uh, check here and see what we have at the uh, first cap location. Two seventy, two seventy one, and let's see what the voltage here. I think I can get to this location safely. Two eleven point two. So that's our voltage um, after it goes through the uh, fill coil itself. Just a rough alignment's been done at this point in time. And I still need to, uh, you can see, hook my uh, fuse up and tie back in a new line cord as well as my uh, on-off switch. And just got this temped in. One thing interesting to the uh, 5W4 tube, I'll show an example of another 5W4 GT. Um, was not in the receiver itself. As found, a 5U4 tube was installed. The receiver would work with this, but the problem would be the uh, loading on the uh, filament side. This is uh, 2 amps versus 1.5 amps uh, per the design of the transformer itself. So it would have created a little bit of an overload situation for sure. So you can hear it playing pretty well. Again, for those that followed along my original configuration for this uh, transformer that I still need to tidy up the wiring on is between one and four. So the reflected uh, primary impedance back over to the output tube was way off, creating a low volume and I've got that just tacked in for now until I clean up the uh, output transformer. Let's do a quick comparison to my as-built. And uh, hopefully I'm within uh, 5 to 10% or so of my original design. For those watching that have not followed the series, the reason for rewinding the power transformer, it was uh, grossly undersized for this particular receiver. 
So I've done my best to uh, use all the uh, real estate available to me, increase the uh, wire diameter, to increase the uh, circular mills per amp to a, a better spot. Anyway, my uh, voltages are definitely within uh, 5%. You can see, uh, looking at the column to the uh, far left, voltage uh, loaded versus unloaded. So for my high voltage side, I came in just above my uh, 250 at uh, 256 roughly. My uh, filament for the 5 volt string came in just under 5 volts at 4.94. And the uh, heaters on the uh, 6.3 string, 6.36. So uh, overall in uh, great shape. Again, I reduced the uh, B plus voltage, thus lowering the uh, B plus current as well. You guys saw the calculations for that. So the receiver's uh, right at uh, 41 milliamps of B plus. I appreciate you guys uh, following along. More updates uh, soon on the uh, cabinet and the remaining electrical work. Everyone out there take care and stay well.